morning, everyone. Welcome to our Friday uh, Independent Living Skills session. Uh, my name is Catherine. I am with LVCIL. A uh, quick visual description. I am a white female. Uh, I don't sound it today, but I am a female. <laughs> um, I have shoulder length black hair that I have pulled back and I'm wearing a navy blue top with some pink and teal floral prints and a gray sweater. Um, and I'm coming to you from our office here in downtown Allentown. Um, and I use she, her pronouns. Uh, I'd like to welcome Larissa. Uh, actually, welcome her back. She was with us back in August um, and thank her for giving us some of her time today. Um, Larissa is a yoga instructor at the lovely little Lotus. And we'll hear a little bit more about Larissa in a few moments. Um, just some quick logistics for today. We are recording today's session and we do invite everyone to turn their cameras on if they feel comfortable. Um, captions are available through Zoom. So you can click on the CC live transcript and show subtitles to turn them on. Um, our presentation today, like all of our sessions, is very much a participation event. Um, hopefully you got the email this morning about bringing paper and color pencils. I know I have mine at hand ready. I'm excited to see what we're going to do with them. Um, and just a, other reminders that our time today um, may include some parts where you need to step away. Um, and we are totally um, open to that and, and welcome you to, to do what you need to pause and take time for yourself and rejoin us when you're ready. Um, and again, chat is open if you need to post questions or comments, or you may unmute and ask questions. Um, so with that, I will give you a little biography on Larissa before we turn it over to her. Uh, Larissa is the owner and operator, owner and founder, I'm sorry, of the lovely Little Lotus. She has been practicing yoga, meditation, and mindfulness for 24 years. She took her first class in 1998 while fulfilling a gym requirement in college. Then she became hooked and not just by the physical practice, but also with the way yoga helped her body, mind, and soul feel both on and off the mat. Larissa is a 500 hour registered yoga teacher who has trained all over the world with a specialty in trauma informed movement that is accessible to all ages and abilities. Larissa currently teaches all over Lehigh Valley and beyond. When she isn't sharing her love of yoga with others, she is a wife, mom of three boys, professor, and mental health and special needs advocate. So again, welcome to Larissa, and thank you for being here and creating this opportunity for us. I'll turn it over to you. Hello, everyone. I am so grateful to be here with you today. I'm going to give you a visual description of where I am currently. So I am a white female. I have long, dark hair that's actually pulled back. I was laughing because Catherine and I's description is going to be very similar, <laughs> even down to what we were wearing. So I'm also wearing a navy blue top, some floral pants, and the pants have pink, orange, tan, and navy blue in them as well. I am sitting on a black chair on top of a blue mat with a white background. And I'm wearing brown leaf jewelry in ode, ode to fall and autumn. <laughs> so very excited to be here with you all today. And we're talking about a topic that is very important to me. And that topic is gratitude. And I think that with gratitude, sometimes we might feel as though there are times when we can't understand or maybe feel it as much. So my time today with you will include a little bit of movement, a little bit of mindfulness, and then we'll also talk a little bit about how to practice gratitude on a daily basis. And then also take a moment to create something all together that we can perhaps Use as a reminder to ourselves of the things that we're grateful for and just by touching a piece of paper, it can bring us back to that moment, whether or not we can see what it is that we're drawing in this moment, just having that ability to touch the paper that we drew upon to feel where the crayon or the pencils drew is all part of this tactile experience that we're going to have today so. 
take a moment and if you from wherever you're at if you're seated in a in a chair in an assistive device on a couch in a bed you can do this from anywhere and i invite you to take the next few moments to really allow yourself to be present with me either visually or with the sound of my voice today and as we're together this sort of invites us into the here and the now and when we open up our hearts to a sense of gratitude the past and the future sort of fade into the moments that we have because gratitude is about being present we can't be grateful always for something that's going to happen in the future we can experience gratitude in the moments that we have that are in in our lives that happen to us and around us and perhaps in front of us or things that we hear and see and do in our lives so that being said we're going to use this present moment together for the next few rounds of breath and just take a moment and perhaps rock a little bit side to side in whatever seat that you're in and these movements are very subtle they don't have to be large if you wish them to be large they may but they also can be really small as you take yourself side to side awesome and then take a moment here to invite a gentle pause coming back to the center and if you would like maybe you can reach the fingertips down to either side of where you are today and then start to bring the arms gently out to the sides almost in a t shape and kind of start to invite a moment here where you're breathing into your heart space. And as you exhale, soften the arms gently right back down from where they came. And do that two more times. Inhale, reach the arms out as far as you wish toward the side, opening up your hearts. And exhale to slowly draw your arms gently down. One more time, just like that, breathing in, arms reach out to the sides as far as you wish and exhale to slowly lower the arms down. Awesome, on your next inhale, draw the arms out to the sides and pause right where you are. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, you can either give yourself a hug, you can draw your palms toward one another, taking a moment to do whatever feels best here. Inhale, reach those arms right back out to the sides, big breath in. And as you exhale, give yourself another hug. Our bodies don't know when we're hugging ourselves or someone else is hugging us. So just a reminder about that. Breathing in, arms reach out to the sides. Breathing out one more time, give yourself a, a gentle hug. Awesome, inhale, arms reach out to the sides. Beautiful, gentle hug. I love it. And we're just softening up our heart, breathing in, arms reach out to the sides. And I say to my students all the time, as you exhale, one more big hug, that even if we're not doing all the movements, if you're seeing or hearing the movements, you can actually visualize those movements in your mind and you're getting the same benefit as if you were doing them in person. So reaching your fingertips out to the sides and slowly lowering the arms down. Awesome. So take a moment and rock a little bit side to side one more time. Give yourself a moment to pause here. And then we'll start to invite in a gentle amount of softness at our heart center. And you can take one hand to your heart if you wish, and maybe the other hand directly on top of that. And allow that sense of heaviness to land right in the space where our, it's really our emotional heart is. <laughs> so as you're breathing into that space, taking a moment and allowing your heart to gently soften. And as our hearts soften, they also open. And that sense of open heartedness takes courage, bravery. And as you're softening at your heart space, taking a moment here and setting an intention that could just be a statement. 
something like I am grateful. Breathing in right there saying, I am grateful. An invitation next to notice as you're inviting the softening to your heart, maybe thinking about what it is you're grateful for. You can say to yourself, I am grateful. And maybe saying, I am grateful for. And as you're speaking these words, it could be in your mind, it could be out loud, it could be silently or quietly, wherever you are, you could sign it. Anything that feels best for you here. I am grateful. And then think about what it is that you're grateful for. And picturing what that is. It could be a person, a place, a pet, a thing, this community that we have at Lehigh Valley. So, so take a moment here, breathing in the words, I am grateful for, and then breathe out and think about what it is that you are grateful for in this moment. And picture that in your mind. giving yourself a few moments to pause in that moment of gratitude. And as you're picturing whatever it is you're grateful for, take a moment to notice the feelings that come with that thing, person, place, object that you're grateful for. How does that make you feel? Does it bring a sense of joy? Does it bring a sense of hope? Does it put a smile on your face? And then as you're here, maybe inviting in a gentle smile, turning the edges of your mouth gently upwards. Every time we physically smile, we send a message to our brain with lots of good, lots of goodness behind it. Our smiles are little messages. So breathing in, smiling super big, breathing out and softening right at your heart. Maybe breathing and smiling again, taking a moment to invite that inner smile or that outward smile. Breathing out, release that moment. And one more round, just like that. Breathing in, turning the cheeks gently, inviting that gentle smile to your face. And then slowly releasing that smile. And just giving yourself the next few moments, inviting yourself to feel that sense of gratitude and appreciation for whatever it is that you are grateful for. And then as you're here, breathing in, saying the words, I am grateful. Breathing out, softening further at your heart. And then gently releasing your arms down if you had lifted them toward your heart. And if you had been just visualizing all of these words around your heart, notice any sensation by your heart. Is there a warmth from where your hands were? Is there a gentle opening from where we just were moving slightly around our hearts? And we're going to take a moment to very gently 
begin to bring ourselves all together into this space and start to invite a little bit of creation into these moments. So for gratitude, I like to remind ourselves and say to yourself multiple times a day, I am grateful for, because the more that we speak those words, whether in our mind, whether out loud, whether signing them, any way that invites in that soft heartedness, that open heartedness, it brings in more positivity, more joy. And the more that we experience the positivity and the joy, the more we invite in happiness, that smile that we just put on our faces, whether it's in our mind's eye or whether it's an actual smile on our face. And there is science that talks about how smiling actually sends a biochemical message to your brain that says, I'm here, I'm grateful, naturally, in this moment, which is super cool. So smiling is one of the meditations that I absolutely love. But there's also lots of links between gratitude and positivity in our lives. So to do that, you are going to take your piece of paper. You might even, if you would like to, fold your piece of paper in half. It doesn't have to be a big piece of paper. It can be a small piece of paper too. Whatever size your paper is, fold it in half in any way. There's no special way to fold it. And I'm going to invite you to fold it in half one more time. So you're just kind of making a little bit of a smaller type of a square here. And what we'll be doing is in this piece of paper, in each one of these corners or squares, which you can feel with your hands that we just created, we're going to draw in whichever one you want to, anything that you wish that brings a smile on your face. And so for me, what I like to do is take myself into that last square and draw anything that you wish. You could draw circles, you can just freehand do any kind of scribbles. You can draw your breath. That's a fun one too. <laughs> breathe in and trace up one side. Breathe out and trace down. Lots of options here. So take a moment and draw something that makes you very happy. And then whenever you're ready, take a moment and think about what it is that you just drew on your piece of paper. The thing that makes you smile and invites in that sense of happiness. And then whenever you're ready, notice which square you just were drawing in and move it to the next square. So feeling that piece of paper, noticing which side you felt your crayon or your markers or your colored pencils on, then take it to the next square. And the next square is something that you love. And it could be the same as what you just drew, or it could be totally different.
And if we're using crayons or colored pencils, you can actually feel what it is that you're creating with your fingers. You can notice what it looks like, feels like, even smells like. I'm a fan of the smell of crayons. I don't know why. <laughs> There's something about them. All right, take a moment to touch that piece of paper with your fingers, bring to mind whatever it is that you think of when you think of the word love. And then whenever you're ready, just noticing which square, you can unfold that piece of paper just to make sure you notice which square you're going to next. The next square is going to be something that makes you feel silly. Literally that makes you laugh and feel silly because laughter is medicine, natural medicine, natural good stuff that allows us to laugh and giggle. There's a whole study in science behind just the ability to laugh and giggle and how important it is. So what makes you feel silly? And take a moment here, maybe run your hands across this square and notice whatever it is that makes you feel silly can bring to mind a little laughter, <laughs> like I'm giggling because what makes me feel silly makes me literally laugh when I think about it. <laughs> And then the last, the last square, take a moment and unfold or refold. The last square is something or someone that you are very grateful for. So it could be something in those other categories that we just said, what makes you smile or feel happy, what makes you, what you love and what makes you feel silly. But for me, this might be someone or something that we don't often say thank you to. This might be someone who happens to be a driver who transports us back and forth. The hospitals that I work at and support, we have amazing drivers. So like thanking someone who literally transports us around, thanking our caregivers, thanking the community. So thinking about that and bringing that to mind as you're drawing this next thing.
see lots of good work happening here. It makes me so happy. <laughs> awesome. And take the next few moments to maybe trace your hands over what it is that you drew to bring to mind what it is that makes you feel grateful. And then adding anything else that you wish to this last square you can even write in the words or think the words, thank you. And then we'll take a moment here and the squares that we created, thinking about each one of them, this is something that makes us smile or happy, something that makes us think of the word love, something that makes us feel silly and invites in laughter, and something that makes us feel grateful. And allow yourself to really remember what all these things were that we just put on this piece of paper and how lucky we are that we are able to think about these things that make us happy, that we love, that make us feel silly, that we're grateful for. And then fold, I know you wanna keep going, <laughs> and then fold your paper right back up into the same squares that we just created, okay? When you fold your piece of paper up, I'm gonna invite you to take that piece of paper and bring it right to your heart. Same thing that we started with. So bring that piece of paper, fold it up. You can fold it as, you can fold it as many times as you wish. This is gonna be your gratitude paper that you take with you and you can use whenever. Touch your fingers on it, bring, bring your sense of gratitude right back to this moment and then take that paper and bring it right up to your heart. Exactly where we started. And if we're not bringing that paper up to our heart, we're, th we're thinking in our mind those objects, those items, those people, those things that make us happy, that we love, and that we feel loved by, that make us feel silly and laugh, and that we're grateful for. Sometimes we don't remember the good Sometimes we don't focus on the good, but there's a lot of studies in science that show the more we focus on the good, the more our brains get the message that life is good. And if we're breathing and we're alive, we're living. And to have these moments of life Invite us to have those moments where we can feel gratitude. And on those days when we start to feel perhaps a little sad, or a little blue, frustrated, even angry, remind yourself of all these gifts of gratitude that you just drew on this piece of paper. And you can keep your hand on your heart with your gratitude gift piece of paper that you created. Or you can just come to just allow yourself to be in the space altogether. We're gonna close our time today with a, a loving kindness wish. And this is one of my favorite things to remember, because the more we speak words of gratitude and loving kindness, the more that people feel that sense of loving kindness, gratitude, and it kind of expands outwardly. And it can bring in more joy and more uplifting and more happiness to so many parts of our lives. So this is how we're gonna act. And I can send these to you too afterwards, Catherine, so you can share. The loving kindness for all beings starts like this. 
May I be happy and peaceful. May I feel strong. May I be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. And may I be at ease. And allow those words to gently sink into your being. Bringing forth that sense of happiness and peace, strength, safety, protection and ease. And then take a moment to wish these same things for someone in your life that you think deserves these same things you can say towards them may you be happy and peaceful may you be healthy and strong may you be safe and protected from inner and outer harm and may you be at ease. Bringing to mind that person that you thought, noticing, sending those happy, peaceful, strong, safe, protected and easeful wishes towards that person. Inviting a breath in and a long breath out. And then because gratitude and kindness works best when it is given towards others, which is also a gift to ourselves, you can wish this for all beings. So may all beings be happy and peaceful. May all beings be healthy and strong. May all beings be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. And may all beings be at ease. Taking a moment to pause and let those words gently sink in. Noticing what it feels like for us to send these wishes to everyone. To wish a sense of happiness and peace. To wish health and strength. to wish safety and protection and to wish that sense of ease. Taking a moment here to invite a big breath in and a long breath out. And noticing how those words of kindness, those words of ease and peace feel for us. The more that we tell our brains and remind our brains of these words of happiness and peace, health and strength, safety and protection, and ease. The more that we can invite in gratitude for life and for being here all together in these moments. So let's take one more moment. Take your pretty, take your pictures, bring them to your heart and kind of seal that sense of gratitude into this moment, keeping our hearts open and trusting enough in the goodness of others
And from here, take a deep breath in. Long, slow breath out. Let's turn the corners of our mouth slowly up into that smiling meditation. Let that smile flood our whole being. And giving ourselves a moment to seal in that gratitude and peace. And take that with us for the remainder of our time today. Maybe even write it down for someone, sign it for someone, tell someone that you're grateful for them. And then you start to spread that gratitude out. You can spread it around. We need more of that good gratitude and kindness spread around all around us. And so what I wanted to invite us to do too is if you wish to share your pictures, we can share our pictures. I want to get, I want to get my thing. <laughs> oh, your sign says love. That's so great. <laughs> you can't really see my picture right now because it is not hundred percent there, but you could share it. And even if we all have visual, we can do visual representations of our pictures. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love that. This makes me so happy. We'll do this in person next year, folks. I promise. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing. So keeping this with you, feeling on the page, feeling and noticing how you feel, even where your pen marks are, you can still feel those imprints. And that just is an imprint that stays on your heart. So thank you. <laughs> well Thank you so much, Larissa. This was a great way to start a Friday. And as we get ready for the Thanksgiving season. Um, so I appreciate your time with us and bringing us this, this moment um, to just kind of stop and reflect on the things we have in our life that we can be grateful for. Yes. No, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. So I don't know if anybody has any questions or wants to share anything. We'll We'll leave it open for a couple a couple of seconds here in case people want to share. We got gratitude. Thank you to Joshua. I appreciate you being yeah. here. Yes, thank you to Joshua and Steph and Ty and Debbie for being here. And okay, I'm not seeing anything, so I guess we'll end our time together and um grateful for everyone and for your being here and I hope we see you again in a future Friday session I will always come back I love the cell I'm very grateful for all your I'm grateful for all of you I <laughs> sending gratitude this way I'm sending my hands out to everyone a representation of gratitude sending it out to all beings so thank you all so much really grateful for all of you so happy Thank you. All right. Everyone have a fantastic weekend.